In this lecture, everything we've learned in this section regarding points of view is coming together. We're going to be using multiple points of view and expressing them with multiple vocals. The first thing you need to know is that you can do this by yourself only if you're recording separate tracks, but if you're live on stage, you need multiple vocalists to express multiple points of view. The second thing you need to know is that the multiple vocalists can be directed at one another coming from different points of view, or they can all be coming from the same point of view using lyric spurts, which are basically one-liners, and the vocalists go back and forth, kind of like a tag team, one after the other, or even one on top of the other. The difference is, in the first case, the vocalists are singing to each other, like in a musical, and in the second case, the vocalists are of the same point of view, but the lyrics are directed to the audience. Let's take a look at some examples of each case. In this example, we have two vocalists. We have a man and a woman, and they're each singing to one another from their own points of view. So let's have a listen. Is this clear to everyone? By the way, if something's ever not clear, feel free to write me in the discussions and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. But this is a very good case where we have two vocalists singing to one another from different points of view within the same song. So if you're planning to write lyrics for more than one person, you need to decide are they talking to one another or are you both coming from the same point of view? In example two, we have two vocalists coming from the same point of view. However, in the song, there are three vocals. The first one is the chorus, which is in red. The second and third, labeled in green and blue, represent the other two vocal tracks in the recording. And basically, vocals two and three are going throughout vocal one on top of it. So this is the perfect example of a lyric spurt. They're one-liners. So let's have a listen. So what'd you think? Pretty cool, huh? Well, they can't really do this on stage, but in a studio, sure, why not? You can have as many vocal tracks as you want. This concludes this lecture and this section on points of view. I hope you learned a lot. Let's go on to the next section.